Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me today. So today I'm going to be exploring Adobe Express. Uh, so if you're interested in looking at the AI tools within Adobe Express, I'm just going to be exploring one of them, then please keep on watching. Okay, so the reason why I'm exploring Adobe Express is because I actually have Creative Cloud account. I use Adobe Premiere Pro to edit my videos, sometimes Photoshop. So Adobe Express actually comes in the suite of Creative Cloud resources. So let me just move myself out of the way. This is the front page of Adobe Express. And I was just exploring Generate with AI. So you might think that this is an alternative to Canva, but it's just slightly different. If you do have Canva, you know, you've got the best designers in the world really giving you templates. This uses AI to generate some templates and some design. So let me just show you what that looks like. So I'm going to press generate with AI and I'm going to have a look at generate template. So I can generate images easily on other tools. I can remove objects easily in Photoshop or even in Canva, I can insert objects, but generate template is something that I haven't found yet. So let's just click on that. And then you can see that I can create a poster. So I'm just gonna move myself out of the way here. So you can see that I can uh, generate a poster. Let's see the drop down menu. Instagram, Square Post, Facebook, Flyer, Poster, Card, Instagram Story, YouTube Thumbnail, Instagram Ad, and Facebook Ad. So I'm just going to do Poster. And I've got this wonderful event coming up in July 2025 in Sydney, Australia. If you want to come and join us, it's with Trevor McKenzie, me, Nicole Thorson, and also Michael Newton. And the actual conference is called empowering learners through concepts and inquiry it's a conference okay so i'm just going to add the s so it's a poster for empowering learners through concepts and inquiry it's a conference i'm going to upload an image so let me just upload that and come back to you so the image that I've uploaded here is just a stock image and it's got some photos of me, Trevor, Nicole and Michael so let's see what it comes up with i'm going to generate now and what I love about Adobe Express is that instead of me choosing the template and me then editing it, it will come up with different template choices based on the text prompt and also with the image. And I can actually edit all of these words. So look at this. So this was the image that I used, Concepts and Inquiry Conference, Empowering Learners Today. I mean, this is beautiful. I'm going to generate some more results though. I'm not that thrilled about those, but you can see the little corner of the picture where we have uh, Trevor, Nicole, Michael and me. So not quite, oh, this is a little bit better. So you can see here, uh, I probably would be able to use uh, any of these templates and perhaps just put Trevor, Nicole, Michaels and my picture there. Um, but this is like a really good starting point. So at least I can just put the information. It gives me a template to choose. Don't get me wrong. I love Canva. With Canva, I can choose any template that's been designed by the top designers in the world. So what a wonderful resource it is. But here I can actually just generate templates. Let's just generate some more so that I can see. And then of course we can actually edit any of these. You, you'd definitely be editing these for your poster options because you know we want, might wanna put our brand colors here. But I love how it just gives me these choices. Uh, I would probably, let's see. Oh, so I just clicked on each of them. Let's see variations. So let's see variations of that particular one. I quite like that style. And we're mixing the art and science now. <gasps> Oh, okay, so it's giving me some different options here. Uh, empowering learners is actually the, the title of the conference. Let me click on that. And I just want to get our pictures there. So the original image I uploaded, it actually had Trevor, Nicole, Michael's picture there. So I wonder if I can just move, yeah, I can. I can move that over so that now we've got that. And what else can I move? Okay, so now we've got this, Ignite. Okay, I might make that bigger. And then I might actually put some details. So here, this is the website, or I might put the QR code actually. I'll probably put the QR code. 
but let's just move that over there a little bit more by double clicking and then moving over so that and then making it bigger so that the actual red uh, goes to the edges okay I'm pretty happy with that but you know I could have chosen any other template here and then looking at the side ones here I've already I can actually look at this is very similar to Canva so I can look at the popular templates here I wonder what would happen if I just like clicked on these with it automatically change so I can actually add as pages or start a new file okay so it doesn't delete the one that I've been working on what I've chosen and then you can see a lot of selection just like Canva of different templates but I love the AI option that's what I love Let, let's go back let's go back here and let's go back to the results because I think uh, I want to actually choose another one um, so we really have to think about the colors here let's have a look at well, let's just generate some more because I don't think I'm going to use any of these. I want to actually show you one that I am going to release for this wonderful conference. Please come and join us. Uh, I will put the link in the comment section below. <gasps> these are better. These are much better. OK, so I probably would have a gray background because my brand colors are this dark red. Uh, let's see. OK, I mean, this is really personal preference, isn't it? What, which one we actually really want. OK, let's do this one. I'm going to click on this one and then I might just change some colors. But I think you get the idea anyway that we can actually just edit this. And I love how it's really user friendly, the interface background color. So I can actually put my library and create a color theme. That's my brand colors. I can choose more colors here. I prefer probably the lighter background or I've got my hex code. So if I was going to have a dark red background, these colors would have to be white. So where is that? That is here. So let's try that. OK. And then you can see I've got a lot of different options here. Generate text effects, shadow. I like how user friendly this is. So this is the new Adobe Express uh, in my premium plan because I have Creative Cloud already. Uh, you can see this is the announcement. So the new Adobe Express can generate text effects and images using Adobe Firefly. It can combine video clips, artwork, animations and music to make videos with a drag and drop ease. OK, seamlessly access and add linked Photoshop and Illustrator assets. So we're in that one ecosystem of Adobe. Ensure that your team creates consistent content with brand kits and templates, which is what I really like. That's what I like to play around with and continue to make flyers, banners, logos and social posts even now. So. So thank you, Adobe, for releasing these AI tools because I have access to this for free because I use Adobe Premiere Pro and Adobe Photoshop. I'm really happy to explore and play around with this. I particularly like the, the generative AI tools here. So if you've been playing around with these new Adobe Express AI tools, please put it in the comment section below. I'd love to hear how you've been using this. Thank you so much for joining me this week and I hope to see you next time.